Mrs. Equa Industries is planning to issue a debenture series on the following terms. Face value is just 100. Terms to maturity 3 years. Yearly coupon rate means rate of interest. In the first year 9 percentage, second year 10 percentage, third year 14 percentage. The current market rate on the similar debenture is 15 percentage per annum. The company proposes to price the issue in such a manner so that it can yield 16% compounded rate of return to the investors. The company also proposes to redeem the debentures at 5% premium on maturity. Determine the issue price of the debenture. That is the question. Everybody is requested to calculate answer of the question. Then I will do for you. So, return heading calculation of issue price of security. Let us understand how to calculate it. Year 1, year 2, year 3. Information is given that say, the face value of the security is 100. Rate of interest is 9% in the first year. So what will happen? Investor will receive the interest income. Of rupees 9 in the first year. So it is 100 into 9%. In the second year, it is 10 percentage. In the third year, it is 14 percentage. That comes to an amount of 14. Then at the end of the third year, we will receive the redemption value. It has been given in the question to us that the redemption will be at 5% premium. So against 100, investor will get 105. So taking into account the interest income and redemption value, we will compute the net cash flow. Year 1, 9. Year 2, 10. Year 3, 1, 1, 4. Now it will be discounted to compute the present value and based on that, so the price will be found. Read an answer. I am sorry friends, redemption value is 105. So last year you will receive 119. Now it will be discounted with the required rate of return to find P0. Now importantly over here friends, we have to discuss the discounting factor. Question is providing the information that generally for these kind of securities, investors are having expectation of 15 percentage. However, we want to make sure that so the investors are getting return of 16 percentage. So we are required to discount this cash flow series at the rate of 16 percentage to compute the price. Now let us have a discussion that why like this. We can say that say the reason number one can be like this. That say the company is in such a situation financially that for the company accepting this project, investing in this project is very 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 necessary. So the company does not want to keep any scope that investor is not subscribing in the security. Because if at all the investors are getting the same return which others are giving, then investor would be indifferent. But the company wants to make them not indifferent, but they want to divert them say in the security. So they want to give a return of 16% to them. 
Second reason may be the project in which the company is going to make investment is going to generate a huge return. So we don't mind to bear some additional cost. But again, we do not want to lose any scope. We do not want to keep any scope that investor is not subscribing the security. So we understand that so the 16% is required to be taken as the discounting factor. And accordingly, we make the calculation of the price 1 divided by 1.16. First year factor is 0 0.8621. Second year factor is 0 0.7432. Third year factor is 0 0.6407. So, over here 9 into 0 0.8621 that comes to 7.76. 10 into 0 0.7432 that is 7 to P 43 paise. 119 into 0 0.6407 that comes to 76.25. Total of all of them is P0. 7.76 plus 7.43 plus 76.25 that comes to 91.44. That is the way P0 can be calculated. Okay, a small note, I am dictating a small note for your understanding. In this question, we have to compute P0 considering investors required a rate of return, I am sorry, considering discounting rate Sixteen percentage. Full stop. Actually, investors want less return. Comma. However. By giving more return, we will be able to increase Chances of subscription. Full stop. 